I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.
I need to face all the hardest fighters and you know, someone coming with a record of 38 wins, 33 by knockout, I think 30 within the first half of the fight. Um, and only two losses, four world titles against legit world champions. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm expecting a hard night's work, but that's what I want. I mean, I'm one of them fighters that probably suffer from talent. You put easy fighters in front of me, I'll be underperforming. Um, I'll be switching off, I won't prepare properly. Um, I've had a really long camp. I know no one cares about, ah, oh, this is the best camp ever, but I'm in a position now where I've got a full-time nutritionist, I've got a full-time team, I'm doing the physio, I'm doing the rehab, I'm, do, I'm doing everything professionally, probably for the first time in my career. I've got here all within myself, I'm about trying too hard, I'll be real. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, I think Sheffield Arena is going to be bouncing, um, the show sold well, there's a lot of interest for a lot of the fights on the card. Um, Felix Alvarado is a great champion in my eyes. Um, in his own right, but I genuinely think I'm past that level. I think I'm the next level up. I think I'm in the elite bracket. I don't think I've done enough for long enough to prove it to everyone for eye test yet, but you know, me and my team were very confident. Now, Felix Alvarado has got more knockouts on his record than you've had fights. A lot of people say this is going to be your toughest fight yet. Do you agree with that? Well, we'll find out on Friday. I mean, I've had tough fights and I've made them not tough over and over and over again. I mean, the way I box isn't probably like anyone he's faced on those 40 fights. So, you know, people have made it to the final goal with him and no one has ever made me not see the final goal. If he is the first man to do it, I'll probably be the most surprised person in the arena. I'll be raw. I don't have the experience of boxing being that hard. Genuinely, every time I spar, every time I get in the ring, I'm in control of the situation, genuinely, and that's not saying I give it and hand it to everyone, but I can do stuff to keep myself safe, to keep myself ahead on the scorecards, and to keep you winning fights. It might not always be the most entertaining and exciting, or I might not have the knockout rules that help build up hype, but what I have got is that level of ability that makes boxing quite comfortable. And, you know, that's what I'll be looking to do, get in the ring, suss him out first couple of rounds, and then, you know, sunny show time, a bit of flair on the top, and then come home with a belt. What does it mean to you, the fact that you're defending your belt in Sheffield, you've got, you know, friends, family, supporters there, and there's a lot of your fighters on the undercard as well? Yeah, I mean, it's just a lot more organic from, from my life. I mean, usually I was sort of spending the whole year up in Sheffield, and then only touching London for the five weeks. And I'm from London, I was raised there, I was born there. But when I was 18, I moved up to Sheffield. I partnered up with um, Grant, I've got kids here now, and I've never looked back. I mean, I could just quickly scan the room and I could probably head on 30, 40 faces that I know personally. Um, that I want getting in London, you know. So um, I am looking ideally to keep bringing the fights back to Sheffield, to keep having my influence of boxing in Sheffield because like I said, the show sold well, genuinely. I didn't think I had as much support, you know. I let them tweets get to my head a little bit. I didn't think I sold the ticket, but that's not been the case this time. Um, it's been a really good turnout. You know, you've got, I could sit here and do the promoter and go talk to the bottom of the card because I genuinely believe in all the fighters and even the opponents. Like, we've tried to get a good card. Um, and I think there's some great fights on there. I would urge everyone to get there early. Um, yeah, I've got three of my fighters that I, I'm involved with, Nikolai Campbell, um, Levi Kinsiona and Thomas Asongo, who I was just up here with. But yeah, they're all on the card, nice and early. I'll be main in the in around half nine, so don't be trying to come in too late. You know, I've got an after party to get to. Uh, Grant, trainer, we've seen some footage of Sonny in the gym, he's looking sharp, he's looking good. How has the sort of preparations for, for this defence got? Uh, this event, we had a little routine, some of the fights got announced and changed a few things. We sat down at a group meeting, Sonny agreed. He doesn't normally agree to things, he wants everything his own way home. But I put a few things forward and he agreed to it, made the changes, and he's gone on leaps and bounds with it, and he's looking in great shape. Tim O'Cliche, everybody says they've had the best camp. This has been Sonny's best camp. Injury wise, Weight. He never struggles with weight, that's his own problem. He creates that situation, but this time he, Sonny hasn't been sunny for this one really. 
he's been a bit of a team player rather than his own player. So it's been a bit different. So he's, he's looking good, yeah. Perfect. Right, Sam, throw it to you. I mean, this is a great headline. It's, it's a big fight, and you know, here in Sheffield with Sunny's supporters. Yeah, look, it's fantastic to bring um, to bring Oxford to Sheffield. Sunny, like I said, has lived here a long time. It made sense uh, this time. Sunny's last fight in the UK reserve for the world title. Where, like I said, he fought behind closed doors. Alvarado is uh, a fantastic, uh, fantastic challenger. He's, he's a world champion um, that's coming up with weight. He never lost his title. He's, he's come up to challenge for Sonny's belt. I think he's a world class, uh, a world class challenger. But I think he's dealing with the best flyweight in the world. Uh, when I say I'm not, not just saying that, he's, he's, he's an elite level fighter, so he, pound for pound quality. And I think you'll see the best out of him on, uh, on Friday night. A great fight. I think, um, Alvarado is all action, but I, 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 like I say, he's coming up against an elite level, number one in the world, flyweight, that's, that's going to go on to have super fights after this. I really believe that. Right, before we finish, uh, just last word to the fighters. So Felix, any final words to the supporters and to Sonny? Relationships are not my forte. Eh? See if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.